Hey, hey, spring lefe, simply tarot. Okay, Aquarius, special message for you. I feel like I'm supposed to take some oracle cards first. Um, just because I just I just feel like I'm supposed to. So we're gonna do it. Um, see what we get for my fellow Aquarians. And I do feel many Aquarius readings coming. So just be patient with me. For Aquarius, for my fellow Aquarians, may we have one spirit. May we have one, please, spirit. Yes, we may. To be fair. Okay, to be fair. Orphan. Okay. Someone's been orphaned. They felt orphaned. They felt um, abandoned. And they felt like things just haven't been fair. They just haven't been fair with them. And it's very hard. This is a very hard feeling. For Aquarius, please. For my fellow Aquarians. Aquarius. For Aquarius. Whoop, there they went. Oh my goodness, we got several. Let me see. Okay. Air Guardian. Shift your perspective. Okay. Okay. This person, whomever this is, they are fixated on being abandoned and things not being fair. So they need to come out of that. They need to come out of that mindset, shift their perspective, their perception or perception, I mean. Spring. See your seeds grow. So I feel like this is about the seeds you have have sown. It's time to start seeing them grow. But you have to shift your perception. And I feel like that is stemming from this being orphaned, being left alone, being abandoned, being hurt, and feeling like things just aren't fair. You know, I feel like you need to be grateful. You need to feel gratitude, you know, for what you've learned from those lessons and what you have in your life now. Peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. Yes. Be grateful for what is in your life and what you have now. That's what this feels like. Shell and Master. Be grateful in movement and action. See? Be grateful. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Medicine Mother. Honor your inner knowing. I feel like um, whomever I'm talking to, that in your past lives... There was something to do with um, medicine and and you know strong spiritualism. I feel like that um, for some of you, you may be into herbs really big, and and you may have been into them, and you wonder why do I just feel like I know all of this about herbs, and I feel like it's because it's coming from a past life. Spirit Fox. Trust your talents in changing times. Okay, stop doubting. Stop doubting what you can do. Stop doubting your talents. Bring them to fruition. Bring it to fruition. Don't doubt it. And it's easy to get that doubt just started. Just one little tiny sprig gets in our head and bam. The weakness is in. It, it happens to me. You know, and you feel so weak, like, oh my goodness, I can't do this, or I can't, no, 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 don't go there, no, push that weakness out, find that strength, and know that you can do it, know that you are doing it, everything is always happening for me, everything is always happening for me. 
everything is always happening for me. Good things are always coming to me. Good things are always coming to me. Good things are always coming to me. Say that. Stargazer, set your sights higher. Yes, set them higher. Oh, this is so beautiful. I love it. Truly do. Okay. Okay. Mystical Shaman Oracle. For Aquarius. For Aquarius, please. The Journey. Upper World. The Earth Keeper. Oh my goodness, the, the Time Master. Thunder. Okay, whomever I'm talking to, you're, you're really big into um, Mother Earth, nature, um, and you are on your journey. Whether you realize it or not, you have started it. It is time to pick up the pace and get the ball rolling. You're on your path. You're on your journey. It's time to, to get it moving. Upper world. Oh, I feel like you, okay, I feel like, um, I feel like you're really connecting in the spirit realm. I feel like through dreams and, um, oh my goodness, even just feeling, it's beautiful, such a beautiful feel, the earth keeper. Okay, I feel like you are so in tune with earth, you just may not even realize just how much. You need to really go out, you need to get out, you need to be in earth in around the earth and nature and really just get out there because i feel like it's going to that is going to do so much for you the time master oh my goodness okay you have some big stuff ahead of you you really do and you i don't even feel like you even realize it i honestly don't you know, I really don't. I don't. I feel like you don't even realize just what is on your path. Thunder. I feel like that, um, for some of you, I feel like there's something to do with looking at thunder as you're getting messages through it from the divine, from God. It's, it's really beautiful. Oh, yes. Okay. It's supposed to square. Woo! These are no. It's these. Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. See, this, yeah, nature. Look at the clocks. It's your time. This is your time. You're on your path. You see that? That's peace. That's, oh my goodness. Look. Your castle. The cross. This is your path. You're on your spiritual path. You're doing it. You're going that's 19 and 20, 36 and 37. Yes, the time is here. The time is now. This is the time. Pick up the pace. Get the ball rolling. Um, there is going to be some form of, com of confusion. There's something that is confusing someone. Okay, and I'm supposed to take one of these. For Aquarius, please. Okay, this is something you need to look at. Okay, there we go. You need to look at this, and you need to figure out what does this mean in your life? Because this this has something to do big with uh, you needing to go forward. Let's see, what does that say? Atonement. Anger and chains. Okay, what's holding you back? Atonement. You know, what, what, what are you trying to atone in your life? 
I want you to look at that. Have you let go of everything? Have you let go of what you cannot control? Have you let go of the past? Is there something you're holding on to? I want you to look at that picture. And I want you to really concentrate on it. If you have to, ask your, gu ask your guides. Ask God. Ask the divine. Ask the angels to help you figure out what is it? What does this mean to you? What do you need to know? Look at that. Atonement. What is it? What is it that you need to atone? What is it that you need to know? Is there something you need to atone? Or are you just, are you really like holding yourself hostage for something that you think you should be punished for? Have you not let go of something? Okay, let's see. Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Yeah. See? Not moving forward. Okay. Whatever you need to, you need to really look at those last cards because it's like you're, you're not going forward quick enough. This has to do with your truth. Knowing your truth. There's something you have to look at. Something you have to figure out. What is holding you back? Okay, this has to do with stability. There's something holding you back has to do with stability. And it feels like not knowing where you belong. That's what I've got. And, oh my goodness. This is really heavy. But this is it. This is it. I mean, this, you know, it feels like once you really figure this out and you get yourself on the right, you know, in the right place where you need to be, um, where you're not wondering where do I belong because of, you know, uh, people abandoning you and not, you know, uh, feeling like it's not fair. Being grateful for what you have. I feel like then things just really start moving. We're going to see if they'll give us one of these for the future. After things are right for the ones who are single. Now this is after you get things straightened out. About things. Okay, now we got pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And... I feel like that's big for someone. Not necessarily the same person, the same part. Okay. Okay, I see it. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. This has got to do... Okay, some of you, you're done apart from this person. This is the person. There was something there where you got hurt in the past. And some of you, you're not divorced from this person or you're... You've not let go of them. And you need to do that. Now, you know, it's, it's stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And that, that's it. Positive thinking and faith. You have to have that positive thinking and faith. Because I feel like that after that, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. I feel like that's when they can come in. That's when they'll come in. But they may not be what you expect them to be. They may be different. Um, you may like short. They may be tall. You may like stocky. They may be skinny. You may like um, blonde hair. They may be red hair. They may have red hair. Um, there's so much. I mean, you know, it could just be totally different from what you're usually used to. This person may be very energetic, may love to do outside sports or outdoors things, and you may not. You may normally go for someone who uh, loves to watch TV or play games. Yeah, that type of thing. So, that's, that's what I got for you. And uh, if this is not for you, just leave it. But, um, yeah. Bye.